Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Friday, June the 19th, 2020, a little after 6 a.m. You can hear the crows in the background here. Let's talk boxing, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about a fight that took place yesterday in a prime real estate part of boxing, the lightweight division. Understand this is prime real estate. It is being heavily contested by men like Lomachenko, Teofimo Lopez, Devin Haney, Gervonta Davis, Lee Selby, in other words, this is a deep water part of boxing. So, of course, one has to wonder what the insiders are doing. You want to pay attention <clears throat> to the investments made by people in the game who feel that they have a prospect who might be able to compete in such deep water, right? So you have Team James Prince, right? James Prince was the manager at one time of Floyd Mayweather, longtime manager of Andre Ward, current manager of Shakur Stevenson, right? He's teamed up with Andre Ward's longtime promoter, Antonio Leonard. By the way, Jay, take a look at the BETZ ETF. Well, they believe they have a new jewel at 135 in the lightweight division. He is unbeaten. He is the pride of Stockton, California, Gabriel Flores, right? Northern California, ace train line. You know I'm going to pub Northern California fighters. Well, yesterday, he fought... Josic Ruiz. And let me just say, Flores, who's 18 and 0, 19 and 0, hadn't fought a 10 rounder before. First 10 rounder, he had a back problem. It turned out to be no problem. In my comment, in my favorites folder here on YouTube, you'll see highlights from the fight. Now, in my opinion, fighters need a hammer. In other words, you need that signature punch that you can set up. Right? You need that signature punch that's going to keep the opponent respectful. Have them hesitant to jump in the pocket. What I want people to do is to look at the highlights, look at the knockdown in the fight. It's beautiful. Flores has a left hook that's a hammer. In the first knockdown, Flores sets up his own counter left hook. He fakes like he's going to throw the left hook. Right? He has the opponent where he wants. He has the proper spacing. So he fakes like he's going to throw the left hook. The opponent then responds to the fake, right? Comes over to that side, does a move to block the left hook. It's after the fake that leads to the opponent's response that Flores then throws the actual punch. And it dazes his opponent then Flores follows up with straight right hands that drop the opponent. Right? Flores doesn't have a big KO record. But you understand this left hook is a KO punch. Right? Flores wants to be slick in the ring. He wants to outbox you. He wants to outpoint you. Right? But don't be fooled. 
when he needs to. He has a punch that can also drop you. So, take a good look at this fight. Understand that this is an up-and-comer. The time to figure out who's going to win the big event, right, is before the big event takes place. So while a lot of other guys are getting, deservedly, a lot of attention in the division, right, Loma is about to fight Lopez. You need to realize that Gabriel Flores is a real sleeper here. He has the boxing skills to outpoint you, but he also has the left hook that he could sit down on and that he knows, more importantly, how to set up and use as a counter. Skilled fighter, unbeaten fighter, you need to give him a look as you analyze the prime real estate. That is 135 pounds, the lightweight division. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I was a little disappointed that the Jose Pedraza fight did not come off, but we're living in a COVID-19 era. And that fight was canceled because his opponent, Slick Mick, uh, came down with COVID-19. It happens. It also shows you, quite frankly, that the protocol in place is a serious protocol that is there to protect the health of the fighters. And so even when a headliner tests positive for COVID-19, the fight's not going to take place, right? People are not going to be endangered. Take the protocols seriously. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. If you want to discuss any aspect of the lightweight division. Please feel free to do so. Let us know what you think, given that people like Lopez, Davis, Flores are all unbeaten. Tell us how this shakes out. Thanks for stopping by.